this and put it on the door. Mm hmm. Where is it? No, on the front door, bloody hands. Oh. <laughs> okay. Those little mats are quite cute. How much is that? Fiver. Hmm. Those little lights are cute. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at all the glasses they have. Oh yeah, I might get some more ladies. Which one? You want to eat which one? Ooh, look at those rolls in there. Hi everybody, welcome to Gemma Ween 2022. And today I've got a one below. So the first thing I got were a pound and they were these creepy cloths. Now one below did used to be like a pound and below, but I've noticed some things are a little bit more expensive now. Um, so I tried to steer around the pound, the one pound fifty mark of the things I bought. So this is the creepy cloth and I've got this for the, the dining room table actually but I don't know how big it is so I actually got two of them because it says it's 2.4 metres by 76 centimetres and I don't know why they've like jumped from centimetres to metres. I couldn't work out how big that was. So it's just like really holy creepy cloth yeah it's not it's not that wide it's quite long i tell you what that would be quite good for like creeping on fireplaces and things like that or on banisters so i might repurpose that but i've got two of them so they might be okay as sort of like a tablecloth um on the table to make it look a bit spooky so they were a pound and I've noticed on Amazon, because I did look for something like this on Amazon, and they are quite a bit more, ooh, there's lots of stuff coming from them. There's quite a lot, they're quite a lot of more money, like about six or seven pounds. So, so I definitely recommend going in the one below shop if you want some of this creepy cloth. The next thing I got was a pound, and it's just this, I think it's made of paper. Spooky bunting, and there's ten flags there, and there's spider web design and then there's a like ghost Halloween as I call Halloween graphic sign I'm just going to use this when we have the party oh it's paper so yeah it's not too bad it's done on on like a black ribbon so it's quite nice there. So that I'll drape across like probably the table where the, the snacks and drinks will go. This is our treaters. We got these um, Malam joysticks. I got these um, Adams Family chews, bars, chews, and lollipops in there. So they look nice. And they've got that cartoon Adams Family on there. And the actual sweets have got Adam's family on the label. I also got some spiderweb decoration to use for the party. A pound. More sweets. More ones. Um, chubby chops. Mini lollies. I remember when I was in hospital having my operation, I was nil by mouth for absolutely like days and I hadn't eaten for probably about 10 days prior to the operation I wasn't allowed to eat anything and my sister put these in and she made me up a toiletry bag and she just said they had loads of those around the house so she just chucked them in there for some reason and they literally saved my life because um I like had this tube down my nose and down my throat and it was just all so sore and I remember in the middle of the night getting one of these out and like sucking them and they really made me feel better. Um, it says there's vitamin C in them so they probably saved my life. I just got some napkins as well, they were a pound. I got two lots of those. 
if you can see them for the party. More Mowans for the trick or treaters. Oh, and then I found this little ornament and I thought it's only small, but how cute is that? I think these are £1.50 and it's got black cat there on the front and the books are all bounded with potions and ghosts on the side and there's loads of different versions of these. I thought they were really cute. I'm going to put them up on my witch's shelf in the bedroom. I think that's really cute. Really love it. So I'm adding this bit in actually because I forgot to show it to you in the video and I got this hanging sign. It says Home Sweet Haunted Home. Um, it's made out of sort of a wood style um, sort of material. So it's quite good. And then there's a broom, little mini broomstick hanging from it. And I just think that was really nice. That was £1.50. I really like that. You could put it on your front door, couldn't you? Um, that's what I might do. I might put that on the front door. Yeah, I love it. Ooh, a little ghost pen for Evie. They were just a pound. Oh, a Halloween try out. Probably should have got a few more of these. These were a pound. Um, I just thought they were quite cute with the little pumpkin there. Um, and the way it's shaped like a sweet. You can just put little nibbles in there. They're only plastic. And they've got that sort of um, glitter effect in there. And I think they had purple ones as well. And I might pop back and get a couple of more of those because I think they are cute. What does it say? Hello. <laughs> hello, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I assume it's meant to say hello, wow. Hello, wow. Happy hello, wow. Um, I got one of these. They had a few variants of these as well. And I really love this one. Look how sparkly the cat is. Here's the camera picking that up. And it says, I'll be back. And it's made of, you know, heavy stuff. Heavy stuff there. And it reminds me of something that you might get from TK Maxx or somewhere. Maybe not as quite as... I mean, half of the stuff you get in there isn't... The paintwork isn't as great. I really love this. And there's loads of different variations. Um, but I could just justify get this one for the cats. So there we go. I'll be back with his nine lives. And then I got this one. I got this for Fred's daughter, Bethany. Um, but I've had it in the living room. Because I bought this a few weeks ago. But they have still got them. This was £1.50 as well. And you can get pumpkin versions of it as well. So it's just a little ghosty. Ghostess with the mostess. And with a little fake plant on the top. And Fred's daughter, Bethany, she collects these. Um, so I thought she might like a Halloween ghosty one. And I thought it was cute. It does look quite nice on the on the coffee table. I might have to go back and pick myself up one. So the last thing I got from there um, was this, I think it's an ashtray. And I got this for my sister um, to go with her Halloween present, which is a ceramic pumpkin dish. And I just thought it was really cool and I couldn't think of anything that I would use it for. But Fred said that the cigarettes could go in these hands <laughs> there. Isn't that cool? So that's everything that I got from One Below. Um, let me know if you got a One Below near you because I didn't used to. Um, I didn't, I'd never even heard of it until maybe last year, um, but they do do some good stuff. Some of it's a bit, hmm. but there's loads and loads of cheap and cheerful Halloween stuff, literally aisles full, which you will have seen at the, in the come shop with me part at the beginning of this video. Um, you would have seen how much stuff they have. And if you're having a party, there's like so many de like throwaway decorations that you can get, um, for, for literally, you know, a pound each. I think they're a really good bargain, especially in this climate where everything has gone up and up um, and there's just no stopping how the prices are rising. I think it's a really good bargain shop. Anyway, take care. Thanks for watching and I will see you again tomorrow for another Halloween video. Bye!